Ungemtrader. Hello everyone, you are listening to You've Got Five Options show on Ungdoms Radio. Tune in at 98.7 every Monday and Wednesday at 11.30 and every odd Friday at 2 o'clock. Join us while we are solving yet another life challenge and if you decide to share your problem with us, yours can be next. Hello everyone, this is Marta and this is Anna and we are live on Ungdoms Radio. Oh wow, that was really nice. Yeah, that was my kind of like, you know, super Danish. Yeah, you actually went for it. I'm really like without Lasse, I don't know. Lasse is our technician. Well, actually now we have a different technician. We have a lovely, could you introduce yourself? Julien. Ju- Julien. Mm, yes, we have a lovely technician, a new technician. Maybe we will be lucky enough to pull her into our conversation or not. We will see. Uh, but yeah, Marta, I'm really proud of you. Beautiful. Yeah, I, you know, sometimes I just decide to kind of like go for it and just forgive myself that my Danish is not perfect and try it out. And I'll, now I have officially tried it out on air. So yes, I think our three listeners are delighted. Well, actually, we don't know how many of you are there because we made a just a slight promotion. But um, yeah, uh, whoever you are and wherever you are, we are very lucky that you are listening. Yeah, we are very happy about that. And uh, we would like to tell you who actually are those we. Yeah, but that, that, that's us, by the way. Yes, but we are we. Yeah, so, well, we are You've Got Five Options team. We are Marta and Anna, and uh, we thought that this first live show that we are doing, it would actually be quite nice if we could tell you what You've Got Five Options is all about. Yeah, okay. I, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. So, Anna, I think it's like, you know, a super good idea if you are the one telling what You've Got Five Options is all about. Well, Marta, this is really lovely. You enjoy it, don't you? Oh, my God, you have an evil smile. Yes. Okay, guys. So what is You've Got Five Options? Uh, You've Got Five Options. It's a small initiative that we are running with Marta, who is my best friend for life. And uh, we are basically collecting life challenges from people and we solve them. Like we actually really enjoy listening to people's pro okay that sounds terrible we enjoy helping people with their problems and uh, we believe that there is always a way out of any situation and in order to prove it we don't even give one advice we give five that's why it's called you've got five options so yeah exactly guys we are just uh, kind of every time we receive a challenge and vast majority of our challenges is coming through our website you've got five options.com And uh, those uh, challenges are often sent by just like literally anonymous strangers. So sometimes we don't even know uh, who is it a girl or a guy, but we just receive that challenge and we are looking for five possible solutions for five questions to ask yourself for five options. It's like our model. Sometimes it's also five steps that we recommend to take, but it's about, uh, you know, opening up, thinking out of the box and trying to explore what are the ways out of uh, that situation. Yes, Marta, I will just for a second detour from your lovely presentation. We just got the first message because we have a we have a Facebook page, guys. It's called You've Got Five Options. You can like it. It, it would be awesome if you would like it. And you can also send us a message while this show. And we just got, oh my God, you are hilarious. And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take it as a compliment or not, but I will take it as a compliment. And I would like to say thank you, Agnieszka Kowalczyk from Poland. We are greeting you. And uh, yeah, are you still with us? We will get another message. 
Yeah. Okay, so thank you, Agnieszka, for writing to us. Uh, and we are actually happy to be hilarious, right? Because if people don't get anything else out of this show, they will at least get a good laugh. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, but we can uh, continue like what is all that you've got five options all about. So we told you it's about uh, solving life challenges and we get them online from anonymous strangers. And yeah, it sounds like a funny thing to do in your free time, doesn't it? Okay, so actually, why are we doing this? Uh, why are we doing this? Well, as Marta mentioned, we, we uh, enjoy listening to people's problems. <laughs> no, that was you who said that. So, uh... okay, we enjoy to help people. As simple as that. I think, uh, you know, everyone has this part that likes to give something back to the world or or just help. You know, it's. I think it's very natural, very human. So we basically like to inspire people to get out of uh, sometimes in their head hopeless situations. So th basically, that's the purpose to to help others. Okay, so it actually really comes from our, like a, we share that part of the life purpose and uh, it is... Um, yeah, we, we got a secret message from our technician. So uh, now we are reading it and we have read it. And we, yeah, actually we got this question uh, today from uh, our friends, like, uh, can we uh, play some music? And we have not prepared anything because we thought that we are so fantastic that we will just talk and talk and talk. No, seriously, guys, we are not really prepared with music. But next time we promise to have some music. Yeah, in two weeks we will have music. So you will not have to listen to us all the time. We will uh, play something nice to take a rest uh, Yeah, from all the... Yeah. Uh, all, all that we are talking about. Yes. Okay. And uh, Agnieszka, thank you for the hearts you have sent us. We can see them and it really means a lot. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So I think a good question to answer right now could be, how did it all start? How did it all start? Well, I think, you know, uh, I would like to come up with something really deep, but like always, there was some alcohol involved. We have to be honest with this. Yeah, yeah. We, we come from Poland and we are, you know, making this stereotype even stronger with both of us. All good ideas come from, uh, yeah, from uh, sharing a glass of wine. Yes, in, in Poland, actually, it comes uh, many times from sharing a lot of glasses of vodka, but this time it was indeed wine and we actually uh, we're sitting in a very beautiful restaurant and we will not tell you which restaurant is that because we were not paid for that yet. Joking. It was a lovely restaurant in Aarhus and we had a really nice time uh, discussing different topics, including life purpose, I think. Was it? Yeah, it, it always goes down to life purpose, especially after a second glass of wine. Yeah, it's always like, what the heck are we doing with our lives? And is what we are doing now really what we should be doing? And uh, we were just uh, sitting in that lovely restaurant and sharing a glass of wine. And we just started to talk. OK, so what is it that you would actually like to do and what is it that motivates you what kind of you know gives you that extra inspiration something that you that really makes you go uh, out of uh, your regular day and we came to the conclusion that we both really would like to help people yeah that's true and then we've had that uh, whatsapp group uh, with another friend where we were recording longer and longer messages about more and more topics and we have uh, found out that our messages st sometimes started to be forwarded to other people and that other people were finding them inspirational and actually we were like hey our messages are almost like a podcast they sometimes take 20 30 minutes why don't we start a podcast yeah another question how what were we doing with our time like how can you record 20 30 minutes we thought that you know if we are doing that then maybe we should actually make it into podcast yeah and then it was kind of like if you advise people like if someone has a, a problem 
or a situation they are struggling with and you tell them, you know, you should do this or you shouldn't do that. People kind of, you know, they are, they can get like defensive and it's kind of like, uh, yeah, if you were me, but you are not me. And what does it mean? You should, shouldn't. And actually I started to see that if you give this kind of advice to people, as an option, it gives this kind of like neutrality to it and it kind of helps people open up. So I started to do that completely like instinctively. I don't know at which point of time, but when one of the friends was having a problem, like for example, a problem with a guy, yeah, a challenge in a love life, I started to say, okay, so, you know, you've got five options here. You can, option number one, you can just dump him. Option number two, you can start working on that problem together. Option number three, you can just, uh, you know, write him a letter. And we started to do that actually just by a regular interaction with our friends. Yeah, that is that is the that is, that was the story, actually. Yeah, uh, there is something really interesting you said, uh, and I think also because of the fact that people who send us challenges, they don't know us and we don't know them. Well, actually, I suspect that we know some of them, but it just comes as an anonymous challenge. I think this is an additional cool factor to it because we don't really have any agenda in helping or, uh, you know, solving the challenge in a specific way. And we are always trying to be really open minded and creative about it. And I think that this is an additional point, you know, Yes. So it all at You've Got Five Options started with solving life challenges in a form of a podcast, but also in a written form, because Anna here sitting next to me is you guys have to know that she's a writer and she's a great writer. So we oh, are man. also writing. Oh, man. Thank you, Marta. Yeah, so you guys definitely have to visit our website and find out that all those lovely pieces uh, of uh, what uh, Anna has written. I, I actually also do write those uh, challenges uh, uh, versions as well. So if there is a poorer version, that's probably the one I have been solving. Oh, but, uh, Marta, <laughs> for the love of God. Marta is also an excellent writer, so you will not know no, you will know who wrote which answer because we have different styles, but she's also a great, great writer. So I don't want to listen about this anymore. You are also an amazing writer. OK, so the thing is that we started with the podcast. We are also writing and then we also started to do some live events. Yep. So you've got five options is also about motivational speaking. It's about inspiring people to, you know, get a better quality of life to start to think about something more than just the everyday, you know, work and kids and studying uh, issues. So it is also that we are organizing live events every now and again. We are also about to have uh, two events at universities to talk to young people to help them figure out uh, what it is that they should be uh, doing with their lives. So yeah, that's also you've got five options. Yeah, that's uh, we we are actually like really expanding. And it's not like we are planning it. There is so many things that are kind of I would say, nice coincidences or it's random. So we just like, you know, yeah, we will do a podcast. Yeah, we will write about it. And then you know, it's just like things are popping out. And uh, yeah, apparently next Tuesday, we are having a lecture at university. Yes. So guys, if you would like to know more about us, you can always visit our website or our Facebook page. It's you've got five options or you've got five options dot com. But now we can tell you a little bit more about uh, our experience so far, because we have solved more than 20 challenges. Mm -hmm. So we already have quite some experience with solving those challenges and I would like to ask you, Anna, you are looking at me. Would you like to read something? Did we get a message? Uh... We actually did got some messages. So before we will go to it, I would like to say uh, I would like to greet Kasia, who is listening to us. And she did something a little bit naughty to listen to us. So thank you for that. And Brian, 
Uh, awesome that you just tuned in. It's uh, re really, uh, people are listening to us, Marta. I don't know if you feel any pressure. Do you feel any pressure? I don't feel any pressure. I feel gratitude. So, oh, yeah, sexy. But greetings to Kasia and greetings to Brian. Thank you for joining us. Yes, and I would like to send back four kisses to Agnieszka. Okay, moving on until we get any other uh, comments. And we also would like to get questions from you guys. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask them at our Facebook, uh, Facebook page through Messenger. So you are very welcome to ask questions. You. Ooh, what ooh. was the most challenging challenge so far? Ah, oh, you know my mo three. Find it hope sift from she was uh, lacking uh, a joy of life and uh, she was married with kids and she was wondering um, how can she have a peaceful life and like kill that excitement part in her. And God damn it, guys, I don't know how how much it took us because it was like normally we have this kind of uh, agreement that, you know, we get a challenge and one of us is the lead on the challenge, meaning one of us takes care of it um, and comes out with the more or less, I would say, the whole frame or the solution. And Marta started to lead the challenge. Then for some reason I took over. So we were making a patchwork solutions, but I remember I was sitting and writing so much. And then we were recording podcasts. And I think we recorded like, I don't know how many different versions of it. The problem was that the challenge was, it was a, such a glorious, beautiful challenge because it touched upon so many different areas of, of human life and, you know, uh, being yourself, uh, discovering who you are, accepting yourself. There was so many topics. And yeah, that was the problem. That was my challenge. It was so many topics that you didn't even know how to like put it all together. That was actually a, a challenge that could turn into a book. Yeah, that's true. And we really had to put quite some time yeah. and and quite some several trials to get it done well. Uh, if we were trying to do it live, like we are uh, doing it now, it would have been a very difficult situation. Sweet Lord, I think we would need like a bottle of vodka for that to solve this challenge live. It, we are getting like better now, of course. But no, it was it was really uh, tough in a sense that we we really wanted to bring value to the table. That was the whole thing. We really wanted to help this woman. And we thought that topics are extremely relevant for everyone. And God damn it, I think I just put too much pressure on myself. I guess that was one of the problems. But how about you, Marta? What was your most challenging challenge? I think it was actually the same because as you mentioned, we have been trying like once you were the lead on it, once I was the lead on it, I was trying to solve it, you were trying to solve it. So I think this one goes the same. It, I also remember that it was like several days where we have been trying to record it over and over again. So yeah, definitely that's the one. But how about your favorite challenge? Oi, my favorite challenge. Like everyone, right? Because every time we start the challenge, every time we start the podcast, you're like, you know, guys, that's a really interesting challenge. So yeah, that's my marketing strategy. I'm trying to like, you know, make you feel excited about it. Okay, this is so weird, excited about human problems. Okay, but I actually, you know, I don't know what was my favorite challenge, but there were definitely challenges that are a little bit special for me, not because maybe it was a challenge itself, but the situation. So for instance, I still have a huge sentiment to our first challenge, which was how to break up with your girlfriend. Yes. And I was the lead on that. And that was uh, the very first challenge that we have published. Um, and uh, I think um, I will always be very sentimental about this challenge because it was the first one. And, you know, there was this one moment in time when I thought I hacked the male brain because actually I came with the options that apparently were really useful for men. And I was like, yeah, yes, I know how men work. And then two days later, something happened. No, I have no clue how men work. But that was that challenge. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was also a funny one. I also really like this challenge and also the way you've described it. That was also really cool. So definitely a cool challenge. I think I would say that surprisingly my favorite challenge in a way that I am still coming back and uh, listening to that podcast every now and again is the how to survive a shitty day. Mm, that's a good challenge. And funny enough, when we've recorded that challenge, I was sure that it went so bad. I was the lead on that challenge and I thought I did such a poor job. I remember. And then I was sitting a long time in post production and uh, uh, and I was like, you know, uh, trying to fix it and fix it and fix it. And then uh, you, Anna, told me like this challenge is really good. It's like it's really, really good. We should definitely go ahead and have it published and so on. And I listened to it like, OK, let me forget that it was me who led it. And it was me who kind of like, you know, did that. And I just uh, listened to it with a clear mind. And actually this like winter time in Denmark and like a really <laughs> and like a really crappy right? weather. I actually really benefit from that podcast and I still come back to that podcast every now and again. And I just listen to it. And it's a lot about gratitude. It's a lot about how can you concentrate on the good things, the things that are actually working and the things that are good and wake up this sense of gratitude. So I think that would be the one for me. Mm. Anna, do we have a actually, comment? I, I wanted. No, we don't have a comment. It's just some people are sharing our uh, our uh, broadcast, Marta, which and I don't know, I got a really weird message from the crew over here. Like this, this can like be global, like listening to it live, something, something. I really don't want to get stressed because I don't have vodka with me. So, yeah, but about the favorite challenges, there is also one challenge that I really, really liked. And it was because I really made a fool of myself. It was the Ikabana challenge, remember? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was hilarious. Oh, that was a really good one. Yes. So apparently I have a little bit of a lack of knowledge in regards to uh, Japanese culture. And uh, I remember we were uh, trying to guess because that was a challenge uh, from a person who was wondering uh, if it's worth to integrate into a culture of a country he is living in. And uh, from the way he described the culture, it looked like this culture is potentially Danish. But Marta also made a very good point that it could be Japanese culture because, you know, we have some we, I, it, the thing is that we just I was just trying to be open that just because we live in Denmark, it doesn't necessarily have to be in Denmark, right? Exactly. We are global, right? As apparently I can see. So uh, I think when you mentioned that, uh, yeah, the guy can be from Japan, I was like, and you were saying that uh, it's good idea to actually sign up for some hobby groups and join them and, you know, like integrate with locals through the hobby. And I was trying to figure out what hobbies people have in Japan. And I came up with Harakiri. <laughs> <laughs> Kamikaze. And then I realized those are not hobbies. Those are really painful ways of dying. So then I was like, I have my shining moment. Ikebana, or is it Ikebana? And then I think the whole entire podcast, I'm like, you know, like tuning in and asking Marta, but it's Ikebana, isn't it? And I remember I thought you will cut it out and you didn't. Because it was hilarious. So it it's, was... yeah, it's there forever. I, I, Marta, is it Holly? Is it Ikebana or Ikebana? Uh, uh, just like I didn't know it back then, I still don't know it. <laughs> We are back after the commercial. Oh, Jesus. No, okay. we don't have commercials. We don't have commercials. We don't even have music. Da okay, darling, you cannot help us. Okay, it's, yeah. okay. It's, it's okay. We will manage. I will actually check. And Marta, you will continue. Yes. So, but basically the next uh, thing that I wanted to ask you about, uh, dear Anna, is uh, something that I uh, would like to have your attention. So you first tell us about if it's Ikebana or Ikebana. Okay, guys, it's Ike, Ikebana. It's, uh, it's Ikebana. Yeah. And I would just like to say, uh, oh my God, guys. Okay, welcome to Agnieszka and another Agnieszka 
Wow, how many Agnieszkas do we know? Do we have three Agnieszkas? We so have three Agnieszkas right now, and one is from Ireland, so we know which Agnieszka is that. And uh, yeah, and Kasia is still in. Great, so that gives us five people listening right now. You are awesome, guys. We love you. Yes, and now we will give you something juicy, so stay tuned. Really? Now, Anna is going to tell us what is the best or most unusual feedback that we have received from the uh, listeners or readers of You've Got Five Options. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know, um, I'm not sure. Until this day, I don't really know what to do with this feedback. But uh, it was our actually, I think it was our first podcast and I was talking with my oh, sorry, Nikki and you that makes six people. Sorry. Uh, so um, I was talking with my colleague and uh, she listened to our podcast and she was listening with uh, her boyfriend. And it was about uh, the first podcast, you know, how to break up with your girlfriend. And apparently they started to discuss the topic and he became like, darling, please never leave me. And, you know, the podcast goes and goes and goes and they started to make out and then they ended up in a bedroom. And she said that the only a little bit weird thing was that while they were doing it, they could still hear our voices from the living room. So it was, uh, yeah, I'm not sure why this podcast turned on some people. Was it the breakup, breakup podcast? It was the breakup podcast, yeah. Okay. Uh, but, you know, yeah. So maybe it was like a realization. We love each other so much. We are never going to break up. So let's just celebrate the love. Yeah, and do it. But you know, Marta, what kind of makes me like weird that we were present there, like w with our voices and, you know, it's kind of, but I guess this is a price of fame. Yeah. <laughs> well said. Yeah. Yes. Who knows what people are doing when they are listening to our podcast? Yeah, that's definitely the most unusual feedback that yeah, we have received. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, we have, of course, received uh, feedback like we are hilarious and uh, inspirational. Um, and uh, yeah, so far we have been getting quite uh, nice feedback from people. But this one is very unusual. Yes. So we got the question, are you serious? And I'm not sure if this is uh, the question to the to the story I just said. But yes, I'm serious. I'm serious. Yes. Yes, there was there were people love making to our podcast. And I think it's actually beautiful. I really do because I'm all for love making. So I really think that it's wonderful. It's just really awkward, right? Yeah. Julian under How do we pronounce your name? Julian. Julian. She understands us. Our technician understands us. Okay, I think we have another comment. <laughs> Anna, will you read it? Uh you're not ugly. You have a face for a radio. Thank you, Kasia. That's a very um, lovely. You know, we always try to interpret things in a positive way. Mm -hmm. uh, this one gives me a struggle. <laughs> 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 oh, my God, guys, by the way, I'm really sorry because I'm still sick. So if you hear any weird sounds, it's me. Yeah, it's a we have to find the silver lining in this one, Marta. Come on. Come on. We always look at the positives. Uh, there, I mean, at least we are good for the radio, yeah? yeah. So, uh, yeah, there, there is something good in it. There are some faces that are good for the radio, the TV, the scaring small children. You know, we have the radio face. Yeah. Thank you, Kasia. Yes, thank you. That was lovely. Okay, now I uh, have some questions that we have received from our readers and listeners previously. So uh, one of the questions that we have received is, are your challenges real? And now here comes the scary answer. Yes. They are real and they are sent to us uh, via our website, uh, you've got five options.com. We have a place that is called Got a Challenge, shoot. Mm -hmm. And uh, the people who send us the challenges there, they can choose and either provide their name and their email or they can do it completely anonymously. So some of the challenges we have not even a possibility to write back to this person because we don't even get an email address. Yeah, exactly. So we just hope that the person will check the site and find 
find the answer. Yeah. Yeah. So the challenges are real, uh, often, uh, often very, very real. I would say, yeah, yeah. down to earth. Yeah. yeah. Some of them are uh, more, I would say, something you would expect, but some of them are like even we were like. Hmm. Now that's something interesting. Well, we do have this. Actually, that we have two more questions, and they relate to quite a uh, quite an interesting challenge that we have uh, received uh, before. Because we have a question: Do you meet with people you solve challenges for? And what is the most popular challenge of the week? And actually, it's the same thing. It's the same challenge and yeah. it's the same yeah and it's also the the most unusual uh, question that we have or one of the most, most unusual. unusual yeah so that was uh, uh, that was a challenge that we have received uh, from someone from a man who received a very unusual proposal from his ex yeah to have a baby Yes. So that was the challenge that we have received. And this is the challenge that is the most popular. The most amount of people have listened to this podcast. And uh, that's quite interesting because we thought that maybe the most usual challenges, the one that the bigger amount of people share or would, could relate to exactly, yeah, would be the ones that people would be listening to the most. But this one is actually the one that has the highest statistics uh, in uh, on our website. And also, that's the only person with whom we have actually met. Yes, that's true, because uh, the guy asked us for some sort of a, a consultation. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, he, he was really in trouble. He was really, really struggling because he has a baby with a with an ex and yeah. they are raising this baby together and then his ex comes back to him and says look i'd like to have another child i know we are not together could we have another kid together yeah. and he was really struggling what to do with that thing yeah. because he could see the point that having uh, two kids between the two same parents, so to speak, he could see the point, but he could not really feel good about it. He could not really, yeah. you know, like uh, go for it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, there was, of course, a, a, a background story to it, which we found out only after we solved the challenge. I think sometimes it's really good when we have a lot of details. Sometimes it's better when we don't, because we can be even more creative and we are not so limited in what we are uh, giving as a solution. But yeah, I could understand his struggle because when we found out the whole background, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's our the most popular challenge. And that's also the person we have met in person, a person we have yeah. met in person. Yeah, oh exactly. God, I'm killing it with my English. Whoa. Yeah, so basically the at least you're laughing, darling. Mm -hmm. Our technician, she is wearing the most gorgeous dress I have seen in at least this year. No, this is 2018 in 2017 as well. It's beautiful red and it has um, no uh, guys. If she will allow, I will make a picture and post it afterwards. She, gorgeous. Yeah. And she also have a, a show on the radio. But uh, unless you are Vietnamese, yeah, you couldn't really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we came in here and uh, and then it was that really beautiful, calm, soothing voice talking to a microphone in a language I will never understand. <laughs> but it was still lovely. You know, it, you have a beautiful voice. You're very welcome. So uh, one also thing about our challenges, uh, one of the cool feedbacks that we have received is actually from people that sometimes even if they listen to a challenge that is not really relevant for their life situation, they still get inspired. That's one of my favorite feedbacks that we have received so far, like saying, you know, guys, I didn't think that like setting up a family in a foreign country is a relevant challenge for me, but I just turned it on once and I heard you talking about this uh, idea and I was like, wow, that's really inspiring. That's really something that let me uh, think more and more deeply and kind of reflect back on my life. So that's actually one of my most favorite uh, feedbacks that yeah, I, I remember that once we got the feedback from I think it was a married woman. She was pregnant and she really enjoyed the, the first podcast, you know, the five ways to break up with your girlfriend. It's like 
yeah, why would you enjoy it except of, you know, the, the, the tabloid potential, I would say. But um, we are, you know, against all odds, we are trying to make everything quite thoughtful. So sometimes we can actually smuggle a golden thought or a very nice punchline that is universal for everyone. And then we are also uh, quite frequently hilarious. So if there is nothing in it for you, as if when it comes to inspiration or punchlines or golden thoughts, then at least uh, it's usually at least funny. Yes, uh, and we don't really plan that funny part. Apparently we are unintentionally funny. Yes. Uh, and coming back to the feedback, there is also one feedback that I have to say because it's kind of, it hurt my heart at one point. And it was a feedback from our friend who said, your English is terrible and your accents are awful. <laughs> yes. Thank you. If you're listening, you know who you are. Yeah, that's actually a very relevant feedback, uh, but we know about it. And uh, um, and actually, when you listen to our podcasts, we have these uh, sound effects mm -hmm. and actually super English. Wow, is, you nailed it. Yeah, it's one of our I was also the one recording it. So <laughs> yeah, so you know the drill. Yeah, so actually, yes, we know about it. Thank you for your feedback. And uh, yeah, we, we have to learn to live with that. You know, it's like, what, what can we do? Yes, English is not perfect. Accent is hilarious. And yet, he is still listening. Ha! The joke oh. is on you. Okay, so uh, I have one more question here prepared from the previous uh, like questions we've been receiving. Yeah. From where do you take the energy and inspiration to solve the challenges? Vodka and drugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that part of you I didn't. Okay, the vodka part, yes. <laughs> the drugs, not really. Okay. It's obviously a joke. Okay, it's yeah, only vodka. Only vodka. Okay. Well, I think it's never vodka. It's actually it could be wine. It could be whiskey. It could be gin. Uh, never vodka. Okay. Now we will discuss my alcoholical problems. Hmm. Could be. Could be. I don't have Ju Julian, darling. I don't have any alcohol problems. Not anymore, at least. <laughs> I recovered. <laughs> okay. Okay. But seriously, seriously, from where do we take energy? Okay. I think in my case, it's because what we do have a meaning. And if something has a meaning, then you are willing to just give it extra, go an extra mile um, because you know that you are doing something that has purpose. Yeah, I think it definitely comes uh, from this alignment with the life purpose. Like we've mentioned at the beginning, we both share the same part of our life purpose, which is to help others. So it definitely comes down to it. it. It works like that. If we receive a challenge, you know, or sorry, when we are receiving the challenge, it comes as an email, you know, to to and I like open my mobile and I'm like, <gasps> a challenge has arrived. And, you yeah. know, I read this challenge and I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know how to solve it. And then it like goes in my head, you mm -hmm. know, and I am thinking about it. And literally often I just wake up in the morning and I have the answer ready. Yeah. It, yeah. It's it's something. Yeah, it, it's quite amazing. And it's a, you get a challenge. So you know that there is a real person that is waiting for, for the your answer. Yeah, mm -hmm. for the answer. So it's, it's very motivating. Yes, that's that's totally true. And you know, it's like, when we receive these challenges, some of those challenges, and we also discussed this many times, Marta, some of the challenges we receive are not a challenge for me are not a challenge for you because, for instance, we have some parts of our life figured out, believe it or not. And uh, but I have a lot of uh, respect and empathy towards another human being. And I know that something that is not necessarily a challenge for me can be really uh, disturbing or uh, or a problematic for another person. And I think that's one of the things when we can really step back and, and just help someone that's something that gets me high more than drugs and vodka. <laughs> okay, we are getting here. We are riding it. <laughs> I really, Julian, <laughs> darling, it's all jokes. We know that, right? <laughs> I forgot that we are live and we cannot cut this shit out. So yeah, yeah, 
Okay. Okay. So now we, you know, I have been friends with Anna for more than 20 years. That means yeah. since kindergarten, people, yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, we met in uterus. <laughs> in uterus? In <Okay>. uteruses. <laughs> in uterus. Okay, that was too freaky. And also... <laughs> <laughs> also because there is more than half a year of an age difference between us. So I really don't know how is that even possible. But okay, I think you are high. I'm not high. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like my mom was nine months pregnant and your mom was three months pregnant. And then they met in a bus. It's a true story. And my mom poked your mom. <laughs> with a belly because it was a big belly and this is how we met. Okay, so you don't like the story? <laughs> I think this story is... Please uh... give me a minute, I will I will come up with a better one. Okay. Did so... you like the story, Julian? <laughs> yeah, exactly, she loved it. Oh my God. Okay, so, but I, I think I wanted to say something about our friendship and now I have no... Ah, yes, that after more than 20 years of a friendship, I find out that you get high by listening to people's problems. <laughs> <laughs> More high than uh, with uh, drugs and vodka. I didn't even know you were doing drugs. So it's a very informative uh, live show for me. I, I would like to say that uh, I have no idea what happened, guys. But I think I was taken over by my evil twin. Yeah. Apparently. 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 No, okay. Uh, clarification. I don't do drugs. I don't drink that much. And I don't get high on people problem. I think I get high on helping people. That's that's a totally different thing. But I, I do like to say something stupid from time to time, as you could notice. Yeah, so basically, uh, we know that we get an inspiration from the pure fact that we are able to help other people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, of course, sometimes we doubt, like, for example, if we don't get any uh, message or something like that, we sometimes doubt, are we really doing something? We often don't hear back from the person that has so, so yeah, actually, sent us the challenge. The time, yeah. yeah, so it's often like, are we even able to help those people? Yeah. But the beauty of it is that we get the, uh, the feedback from other people yeah. who say that they have benefited from uh, listening to our podcast or reading to our article. Yeah, and definitely, definitely. And, and then th that what that is what gives meaning to all of it. And I think this is from where the the energy comes, you know, I think, yeah, because Marta, when we started with you've got five options, we both were uh, in this kind of a corporate limbo, at least I was. And you know, it's it's nice to have a job. It's nice to go somewhere every day and have a security. It's nice to have a family. It's all really lovely, but you know, it's like um, at one point you want to do more. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely something that we uh, share here. That part of wanting to do more. And uh, I would like to say that you know, the energy for me definitely also comes from us doing it together. Ah, yeah, that's true. It's usually hilarious. And you learn new things about me every single day, like h how we first met. Yeah. And I remember that because, you know, I was older. Yeah. So I remember. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it actually, we have a lot of fun in case you have not noticed. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, actually, we were talking about it lately that it's so weird that we know each other more than 20 years. We spend so much time together. We talk every single day. And we are not getting bored with each other. I think we should get married. Uh, I'm not sure if my husband would be up for it. But <laughs> yesterday I almost <laughs> killed him. So, <clears throat> And now I can see. Now you can see. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about it, Marta, and, and rejection live on the radio. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> also, you know, guys, uh, this whole idea of a marriage comes from because we are redoing our website. Yeah. And therefore we have gone to uh, uh, to an amazing photographer. Uh, I don't know if we can mention her name. 
I think we can mention. Yeah, thank you, Olga. And uh, your your mm. last name is like Zametra yes. or Zemetra. Yes. You yes. Are, are wonderful. You are like a genius when it comes to photography. You made us look beautiful. Yeah, and we we went to have our photos, and uh, then uh, we, when uh, Olga has put us together in like uh, pinky dresses and yeah, holding she, our hands. <laughs> exactly because she had the vision of like you know sister and being united, and we went into some beige clothes or something the idea itself wasn't bad at all but the effect was it, lo it looked like we just had like a lesbian wedding you know <laughs> yeah we totally yeah. looked like a couple on yeah. those pictures uh, yeah. so uh, but then we have decided not to use exactly those pictures uh, even though no. they were lovely but in another life when maybe we do decide to get married we will come back for that setup of could uh, be pictures. could be could be we but, already have pictures so yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, no, uh, Marta, okay, I will be honest with you. I cannot marry you because I'm not attracted to women. But uh, this friendship is probably the most, well, sorry for that, after me being a mom, most precious relationship I have ever had because more than 20 years together, it's like this is some serious crazy shit, you know? And we really, we... And we, we actually came a long way, you know? It's like we learned so much about each other. I think I learned the most about relationship, acceptance, and, you know, uh, just loving someone unconditionally from my best friend. Boom! Whoa! And now we should have, like, an awesome sound effect, uh, you know, come in life uh, after this. Um, yeah, but just, you know, to make it clear, I also extremely value that uh, relationship. Uh, so no no rejection here. It was just the marriage part, you know, I'm, I'm married and stuff. So that had to come. But... Uh, Shit happens. I, yeah, we are very different. We are really different people. Are we? Yes. Yes, we are, yeah. And uh, we have very different paths in life right now. But uh, I have to say that we learn a lot from each other and we bring these two completely different perspectives to the table when it comes to solving challenges. Do we have any interesting comments? Yes, uh, there is a, like a, um, a conversation on a messenger between our listeners and they are now trying to figure out how many people can see the messages because I think some crazy ass question is coming. Okay, is there something coming no. to us? No. No. Okay. Well, uh, at least uh, some people are having fun talking to each other. Yeah, that's also a, a, a good, good thing, yes. Yeah, but yeah. if you guys would like to ask us a question, you have to hurry up because we will be finishing in something about like eight minutes. Yes. So please uh, go ahead and, uh, and ask that question. And uh, yeah, so basically, um, yeah we kind of uh, got a little bit on hold because we thought that there is a question coming. Yeah, I think, uh, okay, guys, if someone would like to ask us a question and would like to do it in private mode, it's just very simple to send us a message via You've Got Five Options. Yeah, you don't have to do it in that uh, group on Messenger. You can yeah. do it, yeah. There is a, there is a, you go on the website, I'm sorry, you go on Facebook fan page and then you have, uh, yeah, I think it's somewhere at the beginning, message, send message and, ah, it's, I see it, yeah. We actually got a question. What are your plans on Tuesday? What are your plans on Tuesday? We do have some very nice plans on Tuesday. Uh -huh. yes, we are maybe. actually going to have an event or a lecture at the university in Aarhus. And I solely promise not to talk about alcohol and drugs yeah. on that lecture. But actually we are going to come to a nice group of students. We don't know how big that group is. And we are going to talk about motivation. Yeah, that's true. Actually, that's a... I think this is one of those really hot topics, like wherever we go, we get some challenge that is connected with motivation or actually motivation, more like looking for something more meaningful and then getting motivated to go for it. So I think it's very relevant. Yeah. 
And it all was a spin from our first life event where we were talking about life purpose and your life vision and also about setting up goals. Yes. And actually, after this one life event, we got uh, in, in two invitations. Yes, that's to, true. To connect with universities. And we are going to have this first one uh, on Tuesday. Yes. And then we are also uh, going to uh, have a conversation with another university on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So uh, definitely seems like what we are doing is good for students. Yeah, who would imagine? Yeah, we always thought that uh, people uh, who are listening to us are more like in their 30s. But uh, we are now getting actually challenges like uh, we have received a challenge from a 16 year old Emma. Yeah, and I think you will be able to listen to this one um, in two weeks. Yes. On Monday or Wednesday, because we are also having our program on the radio every Monday and Wednesday at 1130. Yes. And we will be live again on this uh, on Tuesday in two weeks. Yeah. So yeah, the live show is every two weeks. So now we have uh, something about five more minutes, which is the time that is like, you know, should we start a completely new topic? Should we sing a song? Yeah, I think what well, exactly what should we do? We of Marta, course, maybe I should tell a story about me and the funeral choir, the one that you are so willingly cutting out from every single podcast. By the way, I would just like to say that Marta is our podcast producer. So uh, big props for her and she's doing an amazing job. Uh, yeah, but then she also have a power to cut out whatever she wants. Yes. And then someone told us that Friday is live, not Tuesday. That's correct. It's the it's the Friday odd Friday live show that is live and uh, Monday and Wednesday uh, at 1130. Uh, are the pre-recorded uh, episodes that you can listen to it. And on Tuesdays, we are and on Tuesdays, we are actually uh, releasing our podcast. Mm -hmm. So podcast is definitely not live. No. OK, so we just got a question. How do you split the work between the two of you? Well, we do split the work between the two of us in a sense that every other week well, until now, we have been doing challenges of the week. Right now, we uh, have noticed that uh, maybe there there may be more than uh, one week. There may be more than one challenge. It could be that some weeks there is not like a specific challenge. So we are actually going away from challenge of the week. But the way we split the work is one time it's Anna who is a lead and she uh, prepares a sol solution for that challenge. And then the next uh, time I am the one who is the lead and I am the one who prepares and leads the podcast. And also the one who is a lead is the one who is also describing the challenge and yeah. making an article. Yeah, but we could say that on other level, Marta is responsible for the podcast production. I'm responsible for one, running the website. Yeah, so guys, you know, actually, we are about to release our new website and mm. it is so super professional. I am so really full of admiration for Anna because just like from YouTube, like, like really from Internet, uh, not knowing anything about making websites, you are making an absolutely professional, beautiful website. So you guys have to check it, uh, check it out. You said that it will be ready by Sunday. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was my uh, that was that that's the plan at least. But, uh, you know, I got sick on the way. But I think, yes, I think it will be released if the technology and, you know, all this technical stuff will not like kill me. It should be operational on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday evening. Yeah, but that's also how we split the work for sure that I am the one who is doing the podcast and Anna is the one who is doing the website. Else, whenever we are coming with a new project, whenever we are preparing a life event or uh, in general working with the concepts, we just do it together. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I hope that uh, answers the question. Yes, we hope that this answers the question of Agnieszka. Yeah, there are many Agnieszkas. So you yeah. guys yeah. apparently, you know, half of women in Poland are called Agnieszka, which I'm surprised. I thought it's Anna, the most popular name, but it's Agnieszka. It's weird, right? 
Julian thinks it's weird. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we are about to hit the time where it's time to say goodbye. Yes, it's sad, but it's time to say goodbye. And I would sing a song about it, but I won't. So, you know, guys, you can listen to us on Mondays and Wednesdays at 1130 for half an hour. This is where you will get the challenges solved. So this is where you will be getting the uh, five options, five questions, five solutions to a challenge that you have sent us. Remember that you can actually send your challenge to us through our website. You've got five options dot com. Yes. And uh, soon the awesome website. Yes. So remember, send your challenges to us and uh, join us on Mondays and Wednesdays for uh, for the challenge solving episode. Listen to our podcast. You can find all the podcasts at the podcast application on your phone or directly at our website and the live show every other Friday. Yes. So in two weeks we are back on air and we hope that we will get more questions and just to give you a little bit of a tease on Monday at 1130 we have a first part of a challenge how to cope with the intrusive admirer and actually our previous technician is our guest and he has a lot of interesting things to say it was actually awesome to have a third person on the podcast yes yeah. and if you would like to join us on our live show next time you are also very welcome so yes. If you would like to be on the radio, just write us at You've Got Five Options. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Bye. Take care. Have a great weekend. Don't do drugs. Bye. You are listening to You've Got Five Options show. Remember that we are on air every Monday, Wednesday and every second Friday. Remember that you can visit our website www.you've-got-5-options.com That is www.y-o-u-v-e-g-o-t-5 as a number options.com where you can submit your challenge and find our podcast. You can also find us on iTunes or any podcast app. Let's go dance in the pouring